Right, well, <clears throat> it's the beginning of October now. Um, unfortunately, I haven't filmed the garden for a couple of months, which is a bit of a shame because I was tracking the growth through the season, so we've got a bit of a gap there, unfortunately. Um, I'll run through it anyway. Right, so this is what's going on in the conservatory. Not a fat lot. Um, I've got some cuttings there, some rosemary and some cotton lavender and some thyme that I purchased because um, I'd like to have a big supply of that for next year. Um, we've still got the, uh, this is the turmeric and the ginger which had a little bit of a setback because I've got that mint in there which was encroaching on its gro their growing space. I'm wondering whether, because it's above the heater, I'm wondering whether to just let this go through the winter or not. I'm pondering on it anyway. I've got aloe vera that needs splitting. Um, I've got this lemon here which has gone wild, which I think really could do with a, a little light prune for heading into next year. I'll get that sorted. Um, also, been given, this is cardamom. And it actually smells lovely. Um, I'm not sure about using the leaves. I mean, they're really, really scented. They smell just like cardamom, so I need to have a little look into that. This is the tiny little fig, which I got at the beginning of the year, which I thought was dead. But well, you're not dead, are you? Look. There it is. So that can go in the polytunnel, hopefully at some point next year. I've got the lemongrass, which has gone wild, which... I'm going to use the leaves, but I now know that what I need to do is slice off the base plate next year and then that will encourage it to offset as opposed to just growing up as these two have done. Um, and then the little jungly area is looking pretty cool. Alright, so if we head outside, uh, we've got plenty of wild strawberry going. They're still flowering. I've got tons of Herb Robert which I'm hoping to work with a little bit more heading into next year I've put on a tincture um, and get some oil made up and so got plenty of marjoram so I'm going to be cutting that out drying that for through the winter and making some oil um, the Herb Robert has also taken over this lemon balm which isn't great so that needs sorting out still got these scented geraniums there which I'll bring in for the winter um, that little violet which is looking viola looking healthy um, and also uh, more herb robert uh, that's corn cockle there look coming up I need to get that out um, so this lavender's bushed out quite nicely in that pot. I've got the Aculegra, which I need to collect more seeds from to go into our community seed bank. Um, soap wort, which did flower, which I've missed getting on film, unfortunately. There's one, look. That's still left. Um, I've got all this marjoram, which is still in flower. I've got... These were some of the calendula that I planted at the beginning of the year that's been flowering really well we've got more buds to come and more plenty of seed heads so that should establish well for next year and there is some variants I've got some others up there which I'll get to um, so I'm hoping for some cross pollination on those because it's just beautiful to get the variants uh, we've got the Mombrisha there in flower. Um, barrage just coming to the end again. You can get a little bit of seed off that for the seed bank. And that's the St John's Wort, which is still throwing out a few flowers. Um, the Teasel, which was beautiful again. I didn't catch that in flower, um, although it still looks beautiful. I should probably just leave it like that for heading through to the winter. Um, you've got the wormwood, which is actually in flower. I can get that clearly. Uh, collect up some of that and dry that out. 
for some herbal use. There's some more, look, see, there's some yellowy pop marigolds. And I've got a lot of um, nasturtiums in this bed, which I eat a lot of. Have a go with making some herbal remedies up with this as well. Um, again, I love those because of the variants. Um, this is the globe. Um, uh, allium. That's um, Christophe, which is just ornamental really, but that's got plenty of seeds on. I have to collect some of those. Um, this is the fennel, which is now going into seed. I'm keeping an eye on that because I want to collect some seed off there and also collect seeds off the hollyhock up the back there. Um, this is also gone to seed now. Uh, common knapweed, and if you, they're so cute. If you look, oh, get it in focus, Nerese. And just like little cups full of seed. They're beautiful. Um, this has been doing well for its first year. I'll probably cut that off a little bit at the top, get it a bit more established going into next year. And I've got my nettle patch up the back. Oh, a massive spider. Oh, look at him. Um, yeah, so I've got, I'm just watching this nettle now, the seeds, I'll collect some seeds off there, I've got it going through all the back there, some dandelion, it's in various parts of the garden, I have to dig up some roots on those, um, and then we've got the, it's sort of intermingled here now, we've got the ivy, we've got the rose, we've got the blackberry, the nasturtium, <laughs> uh, this is the continuous, which I'm sure I still haven't looked into. It smells lemony, the stems. It's got to have some kind of uses. I need to look into it a bit more. So I had the cultivated strawberries in here, which you can just about see, but it's been taken over by the nasturtiums now. And these are the variants. Oh, look. Caterpillar attack. Caterpillars versus nasturtiums. Interesting. Um, that's the Californian lilac there. You can just see the beautiful oh, shadow. Um, that's the, oh, I can't remember if it's a Tabri or a Barbary, but that's established anyway, so that should do good next year. Oh, there you go. There's another one painted by the fairies. Uh, I've got some beautiful variants on these. The orange ones. Uh, ooh. Green shield bug. Well, nasturtiums are taking a battery. I think they can handle it though. Um, so, still got wood roof down here, which I did move to over the other side. But good news, we're going to be taking this out. The landlord's given the okay for it. So, I'm going to have much, this will all be viable growing space for next year. Although we've got the brambles here as well, um, which I'm learning more and more is, is an extremely useful plant. The new shoots you can eat, um, you can use it herbally, including the root, um, and also use it for weaving. It lends itself really nice to weaving because of these long stem, pliable stems they have. Okay, this is the black currant sage, which isn't overly bushy, is it? But it's done well this year because I've managed not to keep picking off it. So I'll give it a little prune, hopefully next year. I'll do some working with that. Um, got the fever view, just dying back there. Um, more nasturtiums. The lemon verbena, which again... Mm, isn't looking too chuffed. See, there's a little bit of a slight gradient there. There's a runoff look. Um, this is more wormwood, which hasn't flowered. Something to do with it being over this side, presumably. But it looks nice and healthy, so I can cut that and dry that, regardless. Um, what else have we got down here? Uh, I'll put in this little sea buckthorn. Perhaps not the world's most ideal place to put it, but I'm literally running out of room. 
um, so hopefully it will do okay there. And the valerian, which is just been set in seed, I hope I should um, come and collect some of those for the seed bank as well. And the salad burnet, which is in seed there, and also evening primrose. I've got the ice plant here, which is just looking stunning. And I know that is edible as well. Um, so I need to have a little look up on that. Also got some, is that a bit of land crest there? Sort of self-seeded around the garden. Um, whoa, this has been proper attacked by caterpillars. That's the gooseberry. Um, although it shouldn't really affect it. Have it a prune back now and then it should come through in the spring, no problem. Um, in here, we've got the brassicas. They're doing fine. Um, the goji berry. Oh, I'm not sure what to do with it, really. I've, it's got a little bit of mildew. That's probably because I haven't been opening the door up enough. Um, but it has flowered. And I don't think... There must be something specific you know, that pollinates them, you know, because they're not... I have to mind, otherwise I'm going to wreck someone's web in here. Um, can I find a flower? That's... Oh, yep, yeah, there you go, because they are really beautiful flowers. But, yeah, it might be worth just abandoning it so I can get other stuff in here. Custard fruit has been eaten, as has the lemon I put in here. So I might have to take those out for next year. Um... And I've also got this, which I can't, it's got, it's a herbal use one. I can't remember what it is, someone gave it to me. But it's supposed to be really special, so I need to look it up. Um, and some bush basil, um, which I thought might be quite good because, mm, um, ho I was hoping it wouldn't bolt like other basil does. And it's been good so far. That's cool. I've also got a little bit of mugwort. Yeah, which I just found along the way. So that's taken there, so that will get I'll establish that in the garden next year. And I'm hoping for a good supply of rosemary. That's a little cutting that popped in. Looks like that's taken. Um and then up the back just let's see I've just got those few tomato plants and then right up the back there, and if you can catch it from here, is the grape. <clears throat> um, so coming round, that was the tansy, um, and I did also have a little bit of chamomile that's died right back. This is horse chestnut, it's just uh, going golden now. Apple mint, which has flowered, um, and this is a chrysanthemum, which I wouldn't necessarily buy, but someone gave me because they were throwing it away. Um, because they were kept say, telling me it was dead. It wasn't dead, it was just autumn. It's come back this year, but I know that chrysanthemums are photo-responsive, um, so it's quite interesting to watch, because you can see they're budding up now. That's because the day and night um, hours are the same. Um, that's the sorrel in there. And this, which I can never remember what it's called, it's like a prairie plant, which has also popped up over here. <laughs> Uh, a black spot on that rose. This is the red sorrel. Um, and a little cutting from some sage there, which seems to have taken. It's quite a pungent one, this. Ooh. Uh, a little house leek. Um.